Good morning, William Patterson. Let's make some noise for these graduates. I'm Richard Haldobler, and I am the president of William Patterson University, and it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you, our graduates, your families and guests, to the 198th commencement exercises of William Patterson University of New Jersey. We also extend greetings to those who, watch, who are watching the live online broadcast. It's important to recognize that we have over 45 countries recognized in this year's commencement ceremonies. Some of you may know that Governor Murphy lifted the mask mandate for outdoor gatherings. And so for those of you who wish to continue wearing your masks, please feel comfortable. But for those who, of you who wish to remove them, you're free to do so. Will members of the graduating class or those in the audience who are serving or have served in our military forces 
Please rise and let us thank you for your service. Will everyone else now please rise and join us for the national anthem, which was recorded by Lauren D. Imperio, who completed her Bachelor of Music in January of 2021. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. You may be seated. I will now introduce members of the stage party. I ask that you hold your applause until all are introduced and that the members of the stage party please stand as I announce your name and remain standing until all are introduced. Guillermo de Vega, Vice President for Strategic Initiatives and External Affairs. Melissa Reardon Henry, University General Counsel. Shelley Bannister, Chief of Staff. Stephen Boyer, Senior Vice President for Administration and Finance. Professor Michael Peek, Department of Biology. Professor David Snyder, Department of Chemistry. Professor Don, John Najarian, Professor, uh, uh, Department of Computer Science. Professor Nicole Davey, Departmental, uh, Department of Environmental Science. And pro Professor Paul Von Dolan, Department of Mathematical Sciences. Malamuk Zalike, Interim Associate Dean, College of Science and Health. Venkat Sharma, Dean, College of Science and Health. Mickey Camarada, Vice President for Student Development, and Joshua Powers, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Please join me in thanking them for being here today. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Dean Venkat Sharma to offer remarks from the College of Science and Health. Dean Sharma. Thank you, President Haldobler. On behalf of all the faculty and staff of the College of Science and Health, I want to congratulate all of you on this milestone achievement in your lives. Due to the capacity restrictions for this ceremony, many of the faculty are not able to join us today. But I want you to know how proud they are of you and to share their congratulations as well. The pandemic forced us to change many of our classes to online or hybrid. We were unable to be together in person as a community, something we so value. But you demonstrated your ability to pivot, to preserve, and to continue to do excellent work despite the academic and health challenges you faced. And we are so proud of you on all that you have accomplished. During the past year, we have witnessed the importance of the science disciplines to our world, from the research discoveries in biology and chemistry labs that led to the development of a vaccine in record time, 
to the data analysis and computer and mathematical applications, providing much needed information to the critical work of an environmental scientist as we seek to inform the world about climate change. You are poised to make an impact in the world and in your professions, to facilitate change and to lead us into the future. We hope that you will take pride in your William Patterson degree and all of the hard work that it took to arrive here. As you begin this new chapter in your lives, we have worked hard to prepare you for an ever-changing future. Continue to be lifelong learners. Keep in touch with us at every step of the way. We want to share every success with you. We are excited for the future. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you, Dean Sharma. So graduates, on behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and all of the students at William Patterson University, I want to congratulate the William Patterson class of 2021. Congratulations also to all of this year's graduates of the William Patterson at Mercer Community College program. You know, in over 30 years in higher education and having attended or presided over many commencement ceremonies, I think that word congratulations this year is significant. Given all of the complexities in the world and in the middle of a pandemic, you did it. You finished your degree and that is significant. You have achieved something that only 30% of all Americans have attained, a college degree. So make the most of this moment and this hard earned credential. You know, each of you have arrived here after a unique journey, launched years back on your first day on campus, when you began your William Patterson experience with a mix of excitement and nerves and a series of what ifs or unknowns. What if I don't know enough? Together, we change that to you will know enough. What if I don't find a major? Together, we change that to you will find a major. And the all important, what if I don't graduate? Together, we change that to you will graduate. For you see here at William Patterson, we don't call it what if power. We call it will power. Together, we change the what ifs to wills. And now you will move forward. You will get that job or a spot in a graduate program. And you will move forward toward an exciting future. Of course, it's natural to feel some degree of uncertainty like you did when you arrived here about what lies ahead. However, any doubts should be outweighed by the hard earned knowledge and confidence that comes with getting your degree. Trust me, you will be successful. It is also true of every, grad every graduating class that each degree confers, conferred represents the hard work and commitment not just by you, the graduate, but also the hard work and commitment of many faculty and staff with whom you've interacted with during your time here. And of course, it also represents the love and support of all of your family and friends who have been behind you throughout your college journey, perhaps never more so than in this past year. So I'm sure that you will want to join me in taking a moment to recognize first our tremendous faculty and staff who continuously demonstrate a genuine dedication to your success and the success of all William Patterson students. I know that they are proud of you and celebrate you today. So let's give a round of applause to our dedicated faculty and staff. Thank you all.
And also, of course, a big thanks to all of the family and friends of our graduates. Together, you make up a critical network with a record of support and success that goes back long before your graduates became pioneers. You helped get them here. You helped them succeed here. And I know as they head off to launch their careers or continue their education, you will continue to be there for them. You have helped make their success and the work of our faculty and staff possible. You all deserve honorary degrees. So today I'm bestowing upon you the PHT, which stands for pushed he, she, or them through. Congratulations. Graduates, let's stand up and face your family and friends and give them a round of applause. You deserve every second of it. So commencement is an important moment in time to reflect on the path that you have traveled up to this point in your lives and to contemplate the path that you will now choose moving forward with your degree in hand. These paths will be unique to each of you. They will take some of you to graduate school, others to embark on what may be just the first of several careers. Some of you will balance those undertakings with starting a family. Some will stay in New Jersey, other will move to points across the country and around the world. But whatever path you choose, you should be confident that your degree has prepared you well. And please know, wherever you are, that your alma mater will continue to root for you and cheer all of the successes that lie ahead. Whichever direction you choose, I do know this. It is not a matter of if the world needs you. The world will need the kind of talent and dedication that you have to offer, the will power that got you here today. And as graduates from the College of Science and Health, your combination of practical and critical thinking skills will be in great demand by a society facing increasingly complex problems. In those places where science and technology have contributed directly or indirectly to those challenges, it will require more than just science and technology to solve them. It will require the thoughtful and responsible application of technical solutions and science of that kind of, and of the broad-based education that you received here at William Patterson. Please know that your local communities in your state will need you. Your nation and your planet will need you. We will need you to help revitalize our economy and strengthen our government and civic institutions to ensure a more just and equitable society. We will need you to help repair and heal a divided country. It is a tall order, I know, but I have every confidence that each and every one of you can, with your own meaning of willpower, make a positive difference in the world through the careers that you choose, or just as importantly, in the simple everyday actions that you take in your homes and in your neighborhoods. I want to leave you today with a reminder of what I've come to think of as Heldobler's last lesson, which is really just my take on the golden rule, something common to religions and value sets everywhere. And I know that many of you probably have heard some form of this from your parents, guardians, or mentors, and some of you have may even heard me talk about it across campus. But it goes like this. Of all the successful people that I've had the privilege of meeting in my life, not a single one has ever attributed that success to a new iPhone, more Instagram followers, a new Xbox, or any other gadget or external validation. Instead, every last one 
has credited a family member, a professor, or some other mentor. Someone who treated them in the way that they wanted be, to be treated, in the way that your parents and mentors were surely treated by an earlier generation of mentors and guides. If you don't remember anything else that I said today, especially as scientists, please remember this. Success comes down to people. What we learn from them and what we do for and with them. This past year has taught us hard but valuable lessons about the heroics of our first responders. It has certainly demonstrated the need for good science. It has taught us about the disparities of justice, economics, and health in our communities of color. And perhaps most tragically, the overall fragility of life. It is my hope that we all learn from these lessons and commit our collective talent, skill, and energy to building a better, healthier, more just world. Your degree is kind of a golden ticket that will bring you a better, more prosperous life. And as you build that life, let us remember the words of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt who said, and I quote, the test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much. It is whether we provide enough for those who have too little. Your new degree will open doors that are otherwise closed to many. Will you hold it open so that others may pass through. The true purpose, the true purpose of education is to improve the lives of others and leave your community and your world better than you found them. I encourage you all to make intentional choices to be with and to be there for the people that you care about and who care about you. And now that you are set to become the newest alumni of William Patterson, I hope that you will share your rapidly accumulating wisdom with those who come after you. You don't need to wait 20 years to be a mentor. You have much to share already. So be active in our alumni association. If a faculty member asks you to come back to speak with a class, do it. And please stay connected through visits to campus and social media. And finally, while this may sound corny, it is true. You will not regret spending less time at work or with email or in Zoom meetings. You will regret spending less time with a parent, friend, spouse, or child. I hope that you will keep that in mind as you travel through life and try not to have any regrets in this or any regard. I also hope that along the way, you regularly make it a point to laugh, dance, sing, eat really good food, enjoy the ride, and always, always choose kindness. You so deserve a happy, productive life defined by these things, and perhaps most importantly, by the love of others. Class of 2021, I am so proud of you. The entire William Patterson community is proud of you. Congratulations, thank you. And now Provost Powers will present the candidates for degrees from the College of Science and Health. Provost Powers. Thank you. President Heldobler, as recommended by the faculty and certified by the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to report that the candidates about to be presented have completed requirements for their degrees during the academic year 2020-2021. The President will confer your degrees after all of you have come forward to be recognized. 
Please return to your seats after receiving your diploma cover and remain seated until all have been recognized. I will now ask the candidates for a Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science to come forward to be recognized. Kamer Arturo Botero. Alyssa Marie Lacatos. Lena Mohammed Fala. Chantel Ayub. Janet Maureen Churlo. Zachary Robert Winkler. Christy May Err. Jalen A. Brito Yusef S. Metwali Joseph Isaac C. Virgis Zachariah K.K. Melina Simon Gutierrez. Arnold T. Pearson. Adam Matthew Cooper. Christy Joy Romanello. Alyssa Marie Paterno. Kaylee Elizabeth Runs. Lindsay Hannes. Marco A. Ortega. Muhammad Omar Siddiqui. Abdus Salam. Kimani Raynell. Williams Andrew J. McCormack Michael A. Cradiville Kevin Galindo Valerie E. Kostinik.
Brianna Lee Smith. Abriana L. Hernandez. Artemis Maria Basili. Joseph A. Croce. Robert C. Hoffman. Pasqual Rosario Maximilian Antonio Carfagno Matthew Kenneth Young Siania A. Cordova Anthony Joseph Seni Matthew Lawrence Stabile Brian Martinez Tyler Stephen Coolidge Felipe A. Giacomo Anzor Ishak Nicole M. Evangelista Munante John Anthony Ruggiero Kimberly Virginia Cabrera Christina Nicola Dykehouse Brianda Ariella Calderon Renzo Santa Maria Nicole Ann Lucianin Louis M. Gutierrez Caesar Antonio Zalaya Christopher Ovide Cynthia Vanessa Hidalgo Crystal Juanita Rowling Anas N. Alachin Yashasvi P. Gandhi
Somal Imtiaz. Jake Nicholas Tolanowski. Melissa Buchan. Natasha Morales. Omar M. Abuharthi. Sharon Phillips. Daquan D. Henderson. Nafisa Ali. Kayla Marie Fagerlin. Iris Isabel Santos. Zakoya Lynette McLaurin. Maria A. Soder. Sina M. Zakaria. Caitlin Ashley Cappuccino. Sheila L. Rodriguez. Fernanda V. Marquez. Joseph William Deke. Ali M. Hassan. Melanie Dominguez Arujo. Spencer Mendoza. Joel Jimenez. Adrian Keith Espinosa. Ian William Olson. Ciara Jaylene Torres. Ian Morgan Hicks. Jamani Anis Ashcraft. Amna Shazad Bajwa. Zishan Faki K. 
Kizar Khalid Siddiqui. Jamie Giselle Pasmino. Fuzia Ahmed Dana. Laura Mogrovejo Cruz. Soleil Cabrera. Cristina Quispe. Fameba Chowdhury. Mohammed Salem Al Muteri Paulina Osiecki Maram Zogby Brenda Michelle Lizaraga Kimberly A. Copel Melissa Tamaris Michelle Correa Kimberne McEachern Jared Budu Awuku Nicole Sophia Salazar Esteban Severino Laurel Elizabeth Wilkinson Nicole Maria Schubart Jose Tejada Odinakachi Chukuka Izibu Tiffany Danielle Sanders
degree candidates have now been presented. Thank you, Provost Powers. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees who are eligible for Latin honors, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude, please rise. All of these students <clears throat> merit special recognition for the high level of academic accomplishment they have attained. Congratulations. Will the other bachelor's candidates please rise? Will the faculty and deans please rise? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the William Patterson University of New Jersey, I confer upon each of you the degree that you have earned and for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. You may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations! The recessional will now take place led by the platform party, faculty, and then the new degree holders will enter the recessional. But before we process, let's congratulate this group on three. One, two, three. Congratulations!